This is exciting, man. Seed and Spark, one of the best platforms out there when it comes to film and also doing film crowdfunding, has just announced that they are cutting their platform fee. And in addition, they launched a patron circle, which we'll talk about in this video. This is an incredible announcement for those of you out there that are interested in producing more creative work when it comes to film, when it comes to indie videography, that kind of stuff, and getting more stories out there into the world. And they've already raised 35 million when it comes to this actual platform. So these guys are definitely one of the most niche platforms out there and super successful. And we're talking about the implications of this news in today's video and what it means for you. So if you've never come across my channel, my name is Salvador Brigman. I got my start basically in the industry tree back in 2012 when I first wrote uh, my blog, crowdcrux.com. I also put out the logistic regression when it comes to comparing different categories on Kickstarter, which I did for my mini thesis when it comes to doing econ, but that's a long time ago, right? And for me, um, one of my labors of love is just to provide quality education in this industry and also to draw your attention to things that I think are important. And specifically, that's what I wanna talk about today. So if you're a filmmaker in the audience, if you're a creative type, but also there are gonna be some other categories as well, which kind of comes to today's announcement. I want to talk about what this means for you, the fact that Seed and Spark has absolutely cut their funding fee, what that means and how they're replacing that, and as well get into some of those things when it comes to the future of crowdfunding. So first of all, Seed and Spark will eliminate its 5% fee starting today, shifting exclusively to a voluntary tipping model and moving more funds directly into the pockets of independent storytellers using their platform. So what the heck does that mean, right? What does that even mean? Well, basically what that means is that they're cutting their platform fee in the same way that Kickstarter will charge a 5% fee and Indiegogo and these other platforms that are out there, they are actually cutting that 5% fee. Now, what they're doing is they're actually transitioning to a different business model. So the business model, more so that they're kind of now aligned with, is the what GoFundMe uses. So if you haven't yet, go check out some of my videos out there on GoFundMe. Also, GoFundMe has been acquiring a lot of players in the space. I've been covering that news as well. You can check out some of those videos. But that being said, now Seed and Spark is kind of moving in the direction of the GoFundMe business model, which is to enable the people who are donating to the campaign to tip the actual platform. So there's probably gonna be a suggested tip of some kind, but basically when you're giving money or you're donating to a filmmaker or a cause or something that you like, you're gonna be asked for a tip, which is gonna to go to the actual platform or a donation in that way. So kind of thinking of it a little bit different, right? The people who are the creators that are raising money, no longer are they gonna get that 5% fee when it comes to the amount that they're raising. However, the people who are contributing or backing your campaign, they are going to be voluntarily tipping Seed and Spark, and that's kind of the change in the business model. Important thing though, this does not necessarily cancel out the actual payment processing fees that go into raising money or doing any kind of online transaction. So as they say, at Seed and Spark, we charge zero platform fees to creators. The only fees that you are expecting are the payment processing fees that go directly to Stripe, the third party payment processor. So the first thing I thought when I heard this news is like, this sounds too good to be true. And maybe that's because I'm jaded and I'm skeptical, right, when it comes to business. But I was like, this sounds a little bit too good to be true. But kind of probing into it, I do think that this is incredible, this new shift that's gonna help a lot of creators out there and not so much have the burden then of having to pay that fee. So I think it's a good thing. I think it's really interesting. I think GoFundMe has been so successful with their business model. It's actually been, I think, a lot more profitable for them as a company. So I'm really excited to see this direction when it comes to Seed and Spark. And I do wish them the best, obviously. So I would say I'm excited, looking forward to see where this is going. And it is a proven business model. So I do think this is gonna work well as well for the people who are actually voluntarily tipping the platform and it's gonna work well for the platform as well. And for as well, you know, the creators obviously who are putting out these projects. Want to take all the stress out of fulfilling your Kickstarter rewards? Fulfillrate is the turnkey solution that puts product delivery on autopilot. The top campaigns use this trusted high-tech provider to store, package, and ship their products. Focus on growing your business. Leave shipping to the experts. Don't wait. Get a custom quote from Fulfillrate today. Link in the description. The other major announcement today is that Seed and Spark is launching what's called a Patrons Circle. So this actually goes back into just kind of the way that crowdfunding got started, right? And again, I've been in the industry for a long time now. So patronage is really, to me, the bedrock of crowdfunding. So a lot of times we talk about crowdfunding, we think of like nonprofit fundraising, a nonprofit crowdfunding, personal crowdfunding, we think of rewards-based crowdfunding when it comes to Kickstarter, Indiegogo. I've been talking a lot about equity crowdfunding on the channel as it relates to WeFunder, Reg CF, um, you know, Start Engine, Seed and this, republic.co, all those guys. 
this all has the bedrock foundation when it comes to patronage. So what the heck even is patronage, right? You can do some of your own research on your own time. But basically what it means is that people who are patron of the arts are people that are supporting those arts. And throughout the course of entire human history, all of the great, incredible creative work that has come to light is because of patrons. A lot of times there's also some religious patronage when it comes to that. The reason why there's so many artworks related to religious concepts, if you want to think of it that way. So basically, this will offer established filmmakers and industry veterans the opportunity to directly champion underrepresented perspectives in the film and creators building success on their own terms. So all Seed and Spark campaigns are eligible to receive funding from patrons who are committed to a minimum pledge of $1,000 per project. A thousand bucks per project. That sounds pretty good. So I think this is this is phenomenal, man. This is incredible. This is great. And just the fact that you have these champions, these patrons that are stepping up in order to help projects, this is exactly what we need in the creative field and in the creative world. If you want to have more incredible work from whatever artist you love, you got to support that artist, man. If you want to have more cool artwork when it comes to it, you got to support those people. If like for me, for example, loving and seeing someone's artwork, I get it tattooed on my body because I love the style, right? I actually had a lot of thoughts when it comes to concept design of this one and also this tattoo piece. So you got to support the artists that you love because that's really the fuel that they have to be able to get their creative work out there into the universe. So over the last 10 years, uh, over 35 million has been contributed when it comes to Seed and Spark in terms of amounts that's been raised. Uh, they've had over 3,000 new movies and shows result because of this crowdfunding platform. And it's been sort of supported by more than 237 thousand fans. So this platform is not peanuts, right? It is a niche platform, but it's also growing in who they're actually going to allow to create projects. So this is kind of where it gets interesting, right? They're starting to expand who they're allowing on their platform and the types of projects. So Seed and Spark basically expanded its crowdfunding offerings beyond the film space, inviting authors, playwrights, musicians, podcasters, comic book creators, film festivals, and production companies to take advantage of its suite of crowdfunding and educational opportunities. What does this say to me? You know, this says that they're starting to compete with Kickstarter basically, right? Um, Kickstarter has always been sort of the go-to creative platform, and I do think this kind of encroaches a little bit on their territory, and I kind of find that interesting. I do like competition. I think it kind of sparks innovation, and also, obviously, it's a very different model when it comes to patronage, but Patreon is a subscription-based crowdfunding website, and it also targets those types of individuals. So I think that we're kind of seeing the blending of a lot of these different platforms, and they're starting to service some of the similar types out there. I do like the educational initiatives with Seed and Spark and what they're doing to create content content libraries and also partner with streaming partners that are out there. So there's a lot of promise when it comes to this and I'm excited to see where this kind of goes and the overall journey and how that progresses over time. What does this mean for you? What, what the heck does this news mean for you? So first of all, this is most relevant to someone who already is interested in the crowdfunding industry and kind of following the news there, or someone who is a creative type, right? Who's a filmmaker, who's a podcaster, who's up in the film production, something that I just mentioned right then and there, right? But first of all, this means that not only is the platform opening up to more people, not only is this new, this, this new circle, right? And the fact that you can now have a no fee platform as a creator, but also it means that the scale and the land landscape is changing, my friends, right? So I actually recently interviewed an individual who raised around 4,000, I think it was 4,400 uh, on Seed and Spark. And then they actually launched another campaign on WeFunder and ended up doing a six-figure campaign. So I'm gonna be coming out with that story pretty soon in the next couple of weeks, that actual podcast that I did, very inspirational, but take it away that basically the landscape is changing. There are more platforms out there, there are niche platforms out there that you can use in order to raise money from the crowd. And while everyone's like, you know, crowdfunding, that was so 10 years ago, that was so eight years ago, that was so five years ago. I've had this happen literally every single year of my career where people kind of prophesize the death of crowdfunding, the fact that it's gonna go away. And I actually am the exact opposite of that coin, which is that I think it's only gonna accelerate. So if you are interested in raising money through crowdfunding, my friends, it is the most important time for you to actually buckle down and to learn the basics behind doing one of these raises. 
So I got two links for you today that you should definitely take advantage of if you do fall into that camp where you really want to learn the basics. The first is you definitely want to check out my audiobook, The Kickstarter Launch Formula. I really boiled this entire thing in terms of raising money with a rewards-based campaign for film, for any kind of you know category there when it comes to creativity. This is in the Kickstarter Launch Formula. You just got to download the Audible version and listen to it. And also, if you get a free 30-day trial of Audible when you go to the link I'm about to mention, you can also get a free copy of the book, which is like a no-brainer, right? So you go to this link, crowdcrux.com slash Kickstarter audio, and I'll include that link down below. You can grab a copy of the Kickstarter launch formula. And I also do recommend getting a 30 day free trial of Audible. And you can just start to learn and sort of fill your life with all these new teachings and lessons, always be learning, always be executing. It's really just to me like a great motivational tool to get going on this. Number two, if you wanna kinda of learn more about crowdfunding news, new stuff that's coming out, some of the things that I'm noticing as well that are shifting and changing in this industry, go and join the killer crowdfunding tips newsletter at crowdcrux.com slash newsletter, which I will also link up down below. Finally, I do do coaching calls um, with students who are you know, really invested in making this happen this year when it comes to launching a project. They're serious about it and they really just wanna hear it from the horse's mouth, right? They wanna get beyond all of the different things they've watching when it comes to videos, when it comes to podcasts, when it comes to, <laughs> I was like knocking this thing off, when it comes to blogs, et cetera. And they really just wanna get down into it. You can book a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me and you can check that out again in the link down below. So I do this as a labor of love, my friends. If you did enjoy this, video, give me a thumbs up. If you want more news style content like this, leave a comment down below. Let us know that here at CrowdCrux so I can put more stuff out there and also some of the trends that I'm noticing that I'm not always talking about publicly. And again, my name is Salvador Regan. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take some action this week, my friends, and I'll see you next time.